Hawaii. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest host today is McKenna Maduli. Hello, everybody. Who has been very busy this morning filling in on Wake Up Today. I was. It's busy here in Honolulu. That stuff <laughs> with Pensacola. Then I was over yes. at that rally that's going to be happening. Over uh, 600 people this morning for wow. Clean Energy Hawaii, which was really interesting. But now I'm here. Yay. I'm We're glad you're here. You're going to be here tomorrow as well. Yes. I just got back from vacation yesterday. I know. I want to hear all about it. Yes. It was so fun. So I ended up, you know, I left last Tuesday and I had lived in California for a long time. I think many of us know that, know that. And so it was nice to go back after this big move home to Hawaii. I saw a bunch of my friends, um, got to just do things. And then, of course, I went to Coachella. Yes. Tell me about Coachella. Okay. It's all on social media and it just looks like the hit place to be. It was. It was fun. Oh, actually, here's some of the videos. So this is, it's in Indio, California, which is about 40 minutes away from Palm Springs. And you go out there. 110,000 people, as I'm telling you right now. The uh, city council had approved for 65 more thousand people to come. Whoa. So there's a total of 125,000 people. That's Lord performing. Do you know Lord? I know of her. We don't, I don't have her on oh. speed dial. Okay. <laughs> so so are, do they have like different stages set up? There are about five different stages. It's a huge music festival in the desert. It's great. It's fun. Um, it's really for music junkies and it's an art festival as well. So in the center, okay, that is Khalid who just, I ran into him and I have been listening to him getting ready at 2 a.m. here at Wake Up Today oh. for KHON. That's how many people are out there and it was just gorgeous conditions. It was warm. You could see right there. It was about 96 degrees. Wow. There's all the art you see in the middle of the festival um, but I mean just fun for a Hawaiian girl there I am throwing my shakas and that's the big <laughs> stage over there um, in the center so it was just a really fun experience I hadn't been for about five years so it was uh, it was nice to go and experience it's, all of that it's of weird people. because I've heard of Coachella mm -hmm. but my daughter came home and said she's 12 years old <laughs> and she she asked me if I knew what it was because she wants to go oh and I said Malia I don't think that's age-appropriate it actually is age-appropriate now what she yeah. told me I <laughs> You know what? She said we should no make age. A, a girls trip next year because that's how much fun I had. I really was like, there were little babies. There were strollers being pulled around, pushed around. It was very family friendly. You know, obviously there's the different party uh, areas, but uh, it yeah. was it was fun. It, but I do want to tell you. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was going to tell you while I was in LA, I was rummaging through some stuff oh. on my photo albums, and I want to show everyone this photo I found of Trini and I circa 1999. <laughs> oh and my goodness. Do you remember anything about this? Because I really don't. No, I don't. <laughs> so this was actually, it looks like we're backstage somewhere. I want to say this was something with Eric and Takeo. I think this was when we, we, your Miss Hawaii USA? Yes, back in 99. 99, yeah. okay. So that was, yeah, 18 year old, 17 year old me and us. And I found this and I said, how cool is it that we get to work here at KHON together? That's Isn't that funny? Well, I remember when I met you when you came back and you said, you don't remember, but we've met before. Uh -huh. You know, and you, re you reminded me about that time and you have a picture. I that know, is so I found great. it. It was nice to go back and like I have a we just rummaged through all my old stuff there but you know I'd lived in California for so long it was really nice to go and just see my friends and be there again without being chaotic so yes. it was a very self-affirming trip that my move back home to Hawaii was absolutely just it was the best move. Well we're lucky to have you. Yeah. Um, going back to Coachella my daughter was saying that she really wants to go and I was like I'm gonna go before <laughs> you go and she said well why don't we go together and I just assumed mm -hmm. she was too young but she looked it up and she said that it's a it's a family Friendly. I encourage it. There was a lot of people from Hawaii there. Kilia Moniz, you know Kilia the surfer, Kipo yes, Hesemero. Yes, yes. There were tons of people with Lepo'o and Leon. It was really nice. You can um, point out the Hawaii people, oh right? Oh my gosh, absolutely, yes. But <laughs> I encourage that. If you want to make it a trip next year, yeah. it is family friendly. And there's lots of art too. There's different things you can go learn. Yeah, good so, to know. Yes, okay, maybe right. next okay. year. <laughs> All right, switching gears, we've got a hilarious 